In this video, we're going to explore how we can customize the tooltip background color based on the lines that we select here. As you can see here, the tooltip changes just by color of hovering on this matching line, except for this one here where all the lines combine. At the moment, it will grab only one specific color, which would be the very first. So let's start to explore how to do this right now. In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewer's question, which is how to color the tooltip based on the line color in Chart.js. And this is a quite interesting question as well. So this question came from one of my other videos about how to create clickable bars that update another chart in Chart.js, which is absolutely fascinating as well because we connect two charts here. Then if we scroll down here, we get the question here. And basically this question was repeated twice. It's eventually here. But Maratun Jaya Shunkadur ask the following question. I'm not sure if I pronounced your name correctly, so it was quite hard for me to pronounce. However, this is the question what Maratun Jaya asked. Hey, excellence in Excel, is there a way to have different colors of the tooltip when we hover on a line graph? So if we have two lines, it should have the matching line color on there. All right, so yes. Next, what I want to say is just here, thank you for your compliment, I am really happy you're enjoying my course and as well the YouTube videos and that they're uh, helping you getting ahead. So let's start to work on this right now. So what we're going to do here is first of all, go to chartjs chartjs3.com and then what we're going to do here is the following. Go to copy all of this. I'm going to copy all of the code here. And if you want to understand what this code does, please watch this video here. So then what I'm going to do in here, I'm going to just paste this in here and then we're going to just move the title in here. All right. And save this. Once we save this, we have here a nice line chart. So, or sorry, bar chart. But what we need to do is, of course, convert it into a line chart. I want to have two lines in here. So what we are going to do in here is we scroll down here. This we're going to convert it to a line. All right. And then what I will do is here, we need two lines. So we're going to create a, another data set. I'll put in here, comma. And then we say here, this could be maybe a weekly, uh, weekly profits. That will be fine. And then here, we're just going to get some other numbers just to make sure that we have a difference. So we're able to spot the differences here. So just make up some numbers that you want. Three, six, and then again here. Three. All right. So what I will do here is just for the sake of it, we have two different lines or two, two different line colors. So I'm going to just remove one here. All right. And then we're going to do this as well. So we have this and then we have here the border color. I guess here it doesn't really need it, but that's all right. So then I get another color. It doesn't matter which color you take. I'll take here the blue one. It's quite nice with blue and a red color. I'll just copy this and delete all of the others here. There we are. So if I save this now, we will get a line or we get two lines, but you can see here it's right now not that clear. Oh, of course, I copied the background color here. It should be solid. And next, what I want to do here, border width, I'm going to remove this. I will say the tension, the tension 0 0.4. So it will have a nice elastic line chart. So we save that, refresh, there we are. So now we have this. And what you want to do eventually is here, when you hover over, you want this tooltip to be red because of the color here, and this one should be blue. All right, so how are we going to do this right now? So for that, we need to play around with certain items here. What we want to do here is basically change what we call here in the tooltip the colors. So we need to go in here in the scales, or well, we have the scales here, comma, we say plugins, and then we go here into the tooltip. And in the tooltip, I want to do first two items. First of all, I want to remove the square. If we're going to change the color, the square color or the square box has no value anymore. And I want to push it up so it will align to the top here. So we say here the following. First of all, display colors equals false. Next one, so we remove these color boxes. Next one, what is this? Is the align. So basically, I'm going to explain here why we're going to use align uh y align yeah so this is y align and then we'll say here bottom and the reason why we do bottom here 
If I save this, you will see it will work. But you might wonder why to the bottom because it's pointing up. Well, you see the this triangle here is what we call the carrot. All right, and carrot is this, is basically this how you spell it carrot, like that. And what we want to do is eventually this. So basically, we want to point the carrot to the south, which is to the bottom, and in this case, that's right. So then the top here is the cloud, and that cloud will be on top. All right. So now we have that. Enough about that. Next thing what we want to do now is we're going to focus on the background color. And here, background color, by default, it is this blackish color with transparency, which is something like uh, 0, 0.0.0, 0, 0, and then a alpha value of 0 0.3 or something like that. So we could make this, if we would say here, uh, blue, refresh. Now you see here we get a solid blue here. All right. So we are very close to it, but here now might be your struggle. How do we get this? So to do this, we need to create a function here. We say we want to get this background color, but the background color is a function that we're going to first extract that value first, or that we're going to search for that value. And that background color will be, of course, dependent on this here, whatever we hover over. All right. So to do this, let's make a function. So you say your color, I'll just say color items or maybe color tooltip items, it doesn't matter. So this is the function name. Then what I'm going to do here below, I'm going to create a new function and this function will be called color item. And then in here, what we're going to do here is we're going to extract the value which is the tooltip item. This is important because the tooltip item will eventually show us all of the details that the tooltip consists. And of course, then we can extract the background color or the border color in this case. So let's look at this. Just to make sure, we do a console log. I want to do a console log here. Let's go to save that. Refresh. Open up. And then if we hover over it, you can see we're getting here all these information from the tooltip. And if you look at the tooltip, we have here the tooltip information. And basically, we can go here into tooltip. And what we want here, let's look for it. We have here all of the information. You can see the carrot positioning. Uh, probably it's the data points. Am I correct? No, it is somewhere in the tooltip. Uh, let's see here. We'll probably label color. Do we have them here? Or the label. All right, this is the one. So sorry, just had to look for it. But basically, where we need to go is because when we hover over, it, you see we get all of this information. And if you hover over this here, you will see here we get a tool, another tooltip with the information where it's from. So it starts at tooltip dot label colors zero because it's an array dot border color, and that's basically what we want. So we say here again, this is tooltip. To tip dot if I'm not mistaken label color zero am I correct label colors with an S number zero all right that's the first one in the array label colors and then dot here this was the uh, border color all right no that is border color so then we extract the specific value out. So if we refresh now and we hover over it, we will extract the color here. And then if we hover over this one, you should see a different color value, which is correct. We can confirm this as well. Here was the first color, but the red one is 255.6 or comma six. All right, so if I go to the red one, that's this one here, 255 comma 26. So what we want to do now is very simple. We say here already, grab the color, go search in this function for the background color and then what we do here is we turn and we could say here just for the sake of it tooltip bg color or background color e that should be a constant equals this put it in there and then we can just copy that one here there you are. Or we could just copy this code in here, it doesn't matter. So if I save this now, refresh, now you can see here we get this nice blue, and we get this green for red one. And then this is all dynamic. So if we would add up another item here, let's add up another one. 
Uh, where are we? That's this one here. Sorry. Just putting a comma, uh, A, B, C, and then this here, I'll just make it simple. 3, 9, 10, 10. I guess I'll just make it all 10. All right, and we have your color. Let's make this a greenish. So we'll see what we will have here. All right, so save that, refresh, another color here, and there we are. All right, so this basically creates the color. Here's a question, I haven't tested this one, of course, is what would happen if we have two on the same? Which color will eventually show? That will be a good one. So let me put these all together and see what will be the response. Save that. You can see here we have a starting point here. And then in this case, if it starts, it will get the very first value here in this case. All right. Probably which makes sense. It's just the top layer it will respond to. So this is how you can do this with the tooltips. And if you like, want to even go deeper into what you can do with tooltips, I have a video here, which I would highly recommend if you really want to understand tooltips from every aspect, how to add more information in the tooltips in Chart.js. It's a 20 minute video, so it's quite long. However, it covers everything about the tooltip, the body, the title, the footer, and anything else that you can imagine just to put it in there. So for extra information, one highly recommendable if you want to customize your tooltip even further.